up and at him, dressed for success. The Lord calls you today. His own, his voice from his throne. I hear the father say, as I used to hear my earthly daddy tell me and my brothers so many days of our lives, you're a winner. God wants you to know you are a winner through Christ. You have already won. Every battle, every concern, every worry, every obstacle that you are facing, Jesus has already made a way through. Nothing shall be impossible for those who believe. And I remember a time when I was in hospital around four or five years ago now, carrying our last uh, surprise number five, Judah, and I had a very concerning complication with my liver, so they were keeping a very watchful eye. And I would be up early every morning, showered, dressed, makeup on for my hopeful success that I would be granted permission to go home that day. And I'll never forget this incredible lady consultant coming round and looking at me, then looking at my notes. And I'm looking up at her, hopefully, and she saw right through what I was up to, uh, that I could go home that day. And as she explained to me, look, what I see on the bed in front of me isn't lining up with the reports that I can read here and I can see in front of me. Um, and I began to share with her as she asked questions about my happy, smiley disposition. And I began to share with her faith and Jesus. And she asked question after question that day. I since found out, thank God that I, I had that time. Thank God I was dressed for success and I wasn't sitting stewing in my own condition that my God has already made. I knew he'd already made provision for, so I was going to trust him. I was going to trust in his keeping power, his healing power over my life. And I may not have got home from hospital that day, but I did get opportunities to stay and to be dressed for success, to share faith and Jesus with that incredible consultant that after I was home and after I'd had Judah, I heard from a midwife um, a while later that this incredible consultant had started to go to church. She was reaching out. She was so seeking. She promised me that she would, you know, she would do that. And she fulfilled on that promise because I received through a prayer request for this consultant, a young young consultant, probably in her 30s, that she had suffered, I believe it was a brain aneurysm. But do you know what? That as tragic as that sounds, the good news is she had met Jesus. She had found Jesus. And I want to say today, in everything that we go through and everything we face, may we be dressed for success. May we allow the Lord to use us, whether it's in our family. Hey, my kids homeschooling, they have to look at me. So let's not be wasting away in these times. This is not times, this is not wasted time, but it is precious waiting on God time for all that he wants to do in us and fulfill through us. And another time I was mindful that we were off on our holiday and Sharon, uh, my sister-in-law and I, we would, um, we would be dressed, say, going to Florida, all the family, all the cousins, and we were dressed in our jeans, we were dressed in our heavy jumpers. <laughs> By the time we would get to Florida the other side, we would be melting in like 90, 100 degrees. We learned a big lesson through that. Dress for where you're going. I came back from Florida and I came back from Mexico one time. You'd think we'd learn the lesson. And instead, I was so melting when I was there in like Mexico or in Florida and in that, that gorgeous heat that there I was with my flip flops and I'm coming back into At Gatwick Airport at about 7 a.m. in the morning and it's freezing cold and I'm trudging out uh, in flip flops. Uh, my sister-in-law, she had learnt her lesson and she had her socks on. She had her boots on that she wore on the flight back. Um, and I missed the cue. Dress for where you're going to. Hey, don't be dressing right now for lockdown. Don't be dressing right now just thinking that there's nothing going on. Start dressing 
for your future. Start preparing for all the good things that God has for you. I dress for my family. I dress every day. <laughs> this may seem like a crazy word, but I'm going somewhere with it right now in a few moments. Um, I dress every day for my husband, for my kids. They have to look at me for goodness sakes. So um, yeah, let's dress for the success of heaven and let's be available always to be his light in someone else's darkness because your life matters. Your life counts. Your life has eternal significance. Don't focus on the temporal, but focus on being part of the eternal purposes of God for your life. I thank God that there's an incredible consultant who I'm going to be looking forward to seeing um, and being within heaven, hey, one day. How great is that? Let's be a part of the eternal purposes of God and dress for success. Kingdom success. It's not as the world sees success in every circumstance. And I just want to read today from the Passion Translation in Isaiah 61 from verse 1. And it says, the mighty spirit of Lord Yahweh, Yahweh is the, the name for God, is wrapped around me because Yahweh has anointed me as a messenger to preach good news to the poor. Look what we're wrapped around with. Look what we're clothed with. The presence of Almighty God himself. He's clothed us with his power, with his might, with his divine ability. Let's dress for success. Let's know what we wear and let's wear Jesus well to the world around us. He sent me to heal the wounds of the broken hearted, to tell captives you are free and to tell prisoners be free from your darkness. I am sent to announce a new season of Yahweh's grace and a time of God's recompense on his enemies to comfort all who are who sorry. Let me just stop there for a second because this ultimately spoke of Jesus and as Jesus was in the world so are we, one John tells us. We have the wraparound presence of God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus with us, wrapped around us, clothing us everywhere we go. And just as we see there that Jesus, he ultimately was the one who came to announce the acceptable new season, the season of grace. We're in that season of grace and of the Holy Spirit right now that we can go about proclaiming to the brokenhearted. There's healing through Jesus. His forgiveness through the cross is available to you. His strength, his power to make you new, to make the broken whole is available to you. Let us dress for success everywhere we go. It goes on and it says, to comfort all who are in sorrow. This is what we're called to be through Jesus and to do, to strengthen those crushed by despair. I've come across so many crushed by despair through recent days and I thank God through the power of his world, word, I am seeing their worlds that were broken down being built up again as they've received God's word and they've received his truth for their life. And it goes on and it says, to, try, to strengthen those crushed by despair who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful bouquet in the place of ashes. Another version will say to give us beauty instead of ashes. That beautiful bouquet in place of ashes back in old England days, hundreds of years ago, before we knew as much as we do now about hygiene and we had hot running water and baths. Do you know, my daughter was telling me, they were learning this in school and in history, where the bouquet for the bride originated from. Do you know it actually originated from uh, the, the lack of baths and bathing being available, the lack of cleanliness, they would give the brides a bouquet to disguise the smell. Well, our beautiful Jesus, he has come to us and he has given us beauty for ashes. He's given us, the Bible says in the Passion Translation here, a beautiful bouquet in the place of ashes. But he does more than just uh, on the surface deal with the dirt of our lives, with the stinking thinking in our lives. But he comes and he bathes us with the precious uh, water of his word, the Bible tells us. By us filling our lives with his word, we'll be clean. Every day we can come to him and through the powerful blood of Jesus, today it still speaks healing, 
victory, forgiveness, cleanliness over our lives. That for all of the, the ashes, for all of the ruins in our hearts, in our lives, we can receive, we can trade that, the divine exchange, that beautiful bouquet today, that we can be a beautiful fragrance, the fragrance of the presence of Jesus to everyone that we meet, everywhere we go. He gives to us the oil of bliss, another version, instead of tears. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, instead of the oil of joy, uh, the oil of joy for sadness. That's my gorgeous boy calling me. I think he's going to find my hideaway in the woods. Our moments are numbered, so I'm going to read quickly. And the mantle, now I want you to hear this from the Passion. He gives to us the mantle of joyous praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise instead of the spirit, instead of depression and oppression. What a divine exchange today. Let us wear all that God has given to us to wear well. But more than that, that mantle of joyous praise instead of the spirit of heaviness, Elijah put his mantle on Elisha. That was an, a mantle of power and of strength. And we know that Elisha completed in his lifetime double the miracles of Elijah. Jesus, through the cross, through giving us the Holy Spirit, has put his mantle, his clothing upon us. That Jesus himself said, greater works than I have done will you do because I go to my father. You see, Jesus, he healed the sick, he made blind to see, he raised the lame to walk. He did miracle after miracle. But before the death and resurrection of Jesus, there wasn't salvation. We are messengers of salvation. Even greater works than Jesus raising the dead, we would do. We can pray for the sick they recover today. The dead can be raised to life today through the power of the name and the, of Jesus at work within us. But Jesus has given us that same mantle. And he said, just like Elijah gave to Elisha, that double portion. There's so much more for us to step into as his last day church, as his kingdom kids right now on the earth, that we can be deliverers to other people of the good news of salvation, that those who were once heading to a, a painful and a wrong destination can now know that eternal beauty of heaven forever with Jesus. How powerful is that? And then it goes on and it says, because of this, we will be known as mighty oaks of righteousness planted by the Lord Yahweh as a living display of his glory. Let's show off the glory, the presence. The glory is the full weight of the presence of God in our lives every day. The wonder of Jesus every day. Let's dress for success because he has truly given us that mantle of power. Jesus has passed his mantle to us. How incredible. Let's wear that mantle well. Let's wear it faithfully and not fearfully in Jesus name. And after I just received and I just written down that message early this morning, I received a message through. Now listen to this. If this isn't a word from the Lord, wow. I don't know what is, but I leave that to you. Somebody uh, sent through to me, your waiting on God is not in vain. I always say waiting time is not wasted time. You are about to be mantled with power, dunamis. That word dunamis is the Greek word. It means ability, efficiency and might. God's ability, efficiency and might for our lives and authority. Exousia, that word in the Greek, exousia for authority. To put it simply for you, it's because we are royalty. It's effortless authority. We will declare, decree, just like a king, a queen, a prince and a princess, and so shall it be. That is the mantle that Jesus has given to us. And they said, for general, for generational impact, a paradigm shift is taking place. The dreams you had about your calling are coming. Get ready to fly in ministry. Receive God's word today. Receive his power, his authority, his mantle. You are dressed for success. He has given all, given you all that you need. His wraparound presence is the mantle around you today. Go in the power of his might.
In Jesus' name, let me pray. Father, we receive your mantle today and your mandate. We go forward into the new that you have for us, Lord, your eternal works and purposes to be fulfilled in our generation. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.